Wellington sensation Asafo Ormi a strong contender for All Blacks apprentice role. Wellington sensation Asafo Ormi a strong contender for All Blacks apprentice role. Lions hooker Asafo Ormi has continued to make every post a winner in 2017. Wellington hooker sensation Asafo Ormua is firming as a favourite to occupy the All Blacks designated apprentice spot for the end of year tour. National coach Steve Hansen has confirmed the hugely talented No 2 is very much on their radar, though he said there was still some water to flow under the bridge before the apprentice spot would be nailed down for November's trip north. The 20-year-old star of this year's World Championship winning New Zealand Colts team has started brilliantly for Wellington in the Mitre 10 Cup, scoring three tries through the first three games and showcasing his outstanding all-round skills and athleticism with a series of eye-catching displays. Asafo Ormua, the tackler, shapes as a candidate for the All Blacks. His emergence has also created a logjam at hooker around the capital, with Ormuz signing by the Hurricanes, to join Old Black Dane Coles and capable backup Ricky Risitelli, forcing the capable Linea Paisai to move north to the Blues for 2018. Ormuz certainly looks a star in the making. He is listed at 1.77 metres and 108 kilograms but possesses extraordinary power in his legs and speed and athleticism that belie his squad frame. He is also somewhat of a try-scoring sensation for a hooker. He's a good player, said Hansen, confirming he was not overly concerned by the positive press the youngster was receiving on the back of his feet for the Lions. I don't think you can ever be too worried about anyone coming through too quickly. He's playing very well, especially around the park. But it's his core roles you really want to see him do well in and he's doing okay in those two. He's got a big future. Hansen said he could be a candidate for the apprentice role previously occupied by Jordi Barrett and Artie Savia who both springboarded off their tours to become fully fledged All Blacks soon after. Well see how he goes, added Hansen. It might be better for him to just have a good off-season. We'll make a decision about all of that nearer the time. Ormia's stock has been on the rise for a couple of years now, with obvious comparisons made to the all-round package of skills that Coles possesses. Last season, as a 19-year-old in his first year out of school, he was the Lions' leading tri-scorer with six in ten games, including a hat-trick against Northland. Earlier this year he grabbed headlines at the World Under 20s Championships when he scored a hat-trick in New Zealand's 64-17 win over England in the final. One of the tries included him beating six defenders on his way to the line. Hurricanes coach Chris Boyd told Stuff earlier this year he had been tracking Ormia's rise in the game since he was 14. We've been watching him since he was at St. Pat's Silver Stream College, said Boyd. He's a wonderful athlete, loves playing footy, and is a great kid, from a great family, and is really humble, and really diligent. He's got all the things that are going to make him really good. Artie was another one like that, and Mal, Nonam. You could tell when they were 13 or 14 they were going to be special. Hansen is smart to monitor Ormua closely. In Coles he has the best hooker in the world at his disposal, with a range of skills that have rewritten the conventions of the position. But Coles' recent head issues that have seen him sidelined for much of the season have exposed a slight lack of depth, as well as concerns about how much longer the Wellingtonian can go on for. Cantab Cody Taylor is easily the next best hooker in the national pecking order, but behind him the options thin out a little. Nathan Harris is a solid operator and Liam Coltman and James Parsons have been around the All Blacks in the past. 
but Ormi looks to have the sort of skills that could soon see him leapfrogging people into all black squads.